This problem that is motion of several particles states that automobiles A and B are traveling in adjacent highway lanes and at time zero have the positions and speeds shown. So car, car A is moving, let's just call this car A, and it's moving in this direction and I'm going to do the conversions from miles per hour to feet per second right here. So it's moving at 35.2 feet per second. And somewhere in front of it, there's a car B. And this car B is moving at 52.8 feet per second. So this is given, and the distance that separates these two cars is 75 feet. So with car A, we're going to say this is our zero position, and this is our position 75. That's very bad, 7. 75. Now, what else do we know? We know that A has an acceleration of 1.8 feet per second. feet per second squared, and B has a deceleration. So B's acceleration is going in this direction of 1.2 feet per second squared. So if we're asked to find the position that particle A will hit particle B, at some point we'll have the positions of A, so the position that A is and B is will be at the same point. So this X, this X right here will be the same for both of uh, for both of these cars. So if we if we write an equation for car A using our kinematic equations, uh, we know the distance of A is going to be equal to an initial distance, which is zero plus its initial velocity, which is 35.2 times some time, which we're going to solve for, uh, plus 1 half times its acceleration, which is 1.8 feet per second squared, times uh, time squared, and this is xA. And for xB, we're going to have xB is equal to the initial uh, position, which is 75, plus its initial velocity, which is 52.8 times time, plus one half times its acceleration, which is a minus 1.2 feet per second times time squared. And at the point where they overtake each other, xA is going to equal xB. So we can set these two equations equal to each other and we have 35.2t plus 1 half 1.8t squared is equal to 75 plus 52.8t plus 1 half times negative 1.2 times t squared. And we can solve for uh, t and we'll get t is equal to 15.05 seconds. So what does this mean? This means at time is equal to 15.05 seconds, car A has reached car B. And at what position will this happen? Well, we can put the time that we just solved for into our equation for x, and we can get x A is equal to 0 plus 35.2 times t, which is 15.05, plus 1 half 1.8 times t, which is 15.05 squared. And when we solve this, we get uh, a is equal to 733 feet. So because we started from point A, it means this position is 733 feet.
and if we, we're interested in finding the speed of each automobile when this happens, we can we can look at the final speed of an automobile, and we can sorry uh, a v final is equal to an initial v plus acceleration times time. So our final velocity right here is equal to our initial velocity which is 35.2 plus our a which is 1.8 feet per second squared times the time which is 15.05 and this is equal to 62.3 feet per second. So the final velocity of B when it over, when, uh, or the, this is uh, car A. So the final velocity of car A once it overtakes car B is 62.3 feet per second. And if you really want, you can calculate whatever it is in miles per hour, but I'm gonna leave it in feet per second. And so the, for car B, the final velocity of car V is equal to the initial velocity, which is 52.8, plus the acceleration, and it's decelerating, so it's minus 1.2 uh, feet per second squared, times 15.05, and when we solve this, we get 34.74 feet per second. So our final answer is car A is traveling at 62.3 feet per second and car B is traveling at 34.74 feet per second.